The anisotropic rotation controls the direction of the strands. The tangent allows us to more finely control the direction of these strands. Starting simple, we can connect a tangent node and change the direction based on the x, y and z. Notice how the strand direction aligns to the object's relative axis. For a more complex effect, we can procedurally change the direction of the strands based on our UVs. For example, if we try to apply the default anisotropy settings to this tube bottle, the effect breaks because the direction of the strands cannot be simplified to a simple axis. Ideally, the flow of the strands would follow the direction of the cube. It's actually really simple. We just have to unwrap the tube to be straight, and now the strands will follow that direction. But the excitement doesn't end there. We can plug an anisotropy map right into the tangent input for very interesting effect. Similar to normal maps, each color represents a direction. Red is X, green is Y, blue is Z. You can think of the anisotropy map as a flow map of sorts, which defines the direction in which the strands will be going relative to the tangent. 